So hi guys, for today's topic, we are going to talk about language and humans. Features on human language, adapted from Hackett Child's 1960, The Origin of Speech. Design features of language. A phrase coined in the 1960s by the American linguist Charles Hackett. Hackett isolated certain features, originally 13, that characterize human language and which is distinguish it from other communication systems. The final four features are displacement, productivity, cultural transmission, and duality are reserved for humans. So first, let me talk about Charles Francis Hackett. He was born on January 17, 1916 at Columbus, Ohio, United States. He was known for his contributions to structural language, and he died on November 3 at the age of 84. Charles Hackett was an American linguist and anthropologist who lived from 1916 to 2000. Hackett graduated from Yale in 1939 and later taught at both Cornell and Rice. Hackett made significant contributions to structural linguistics as well as the study of Native American, Chinese, and Fijian languages. His focus mainly on detailed linguistics analysis, particularly morphology and phonology, and on the concepts and tools that facilitated such analysis. 13 Features on Human Language First, Vocal Auditory Channel this means that the standard human language occurs as a vocal or making sounds with the mouth type of communication which is perceived by hearing it. May include other senses, use of hand while talking, and hear in the dark. This channel describes the way vocal signals can be used to produce language. The speaker uses a vocal tract containing most of the speech organs to produce speech sounds, and the hearer employs an auditory apparatus, the sense of hearing, to receive and process the speech sounds. Second, broadcast transmission and directional reception. This means that the human language signal is sent out in all directions while it is perceived in a limited direction, here at a distances. For example, Spoken language. The sound perpetuates as a waveform that expands from the point of origin or the mouth in all directions. This is why a person can stand in the middle of a room and be heard by everyone, assuming they are speaking loudly enough. However, the listener hears the sound as coming from a particular direction and is notably better at hearing sounds that are coming from in front of them than from behind them. Third, rapid fading. A language does not persist over time. Speech waveforms fade rapidly and cannot be heard after they fade. This is why it is not possible to simply say hello and have someone hear it hours later. Writing and audio recordings can be used to record human language so that it can be recreated at later time. Either by reading the written form or by playing the audio record. 4. Interchangeability The speaker can both receive and broadcast the same signal. This is distinctive from some animal communications such as of the stickle fish. The stickle fish make auditory signals based on gender. Basically, the males say, I am a boy, and the females say, I am a girl. However, male fish cannot say, I am a girl, although they can perceive it. Thus, stickle fish signals are not interchangeable. Total feedback. Individuals are able to hear and internalize a message they have sent. This means that the speaker can hear themselves speak and can monitor their language performance as they go. This differs from some other simple communication systems, such as traffic signals. Traffic signals are not normally capable of monitoring their own functions. Specialization Speech is produced for communication, not simply for some other function 
such as echolocation, special sounds, human organs, and not for animals. This means that the organs used for producing speech are especially adapted to that task. The human lips, tongue, throat have been specialized into speech apparatus instead of being merely the eating apparatus they are in many other animals. For example, dogs are not physically capable of all the speech sounds that humans produce because they lack the necessary specialized organs. 7. Semanticity Speech sounds can be linked to specific meanings. Words have stable relationship to objects. This means that specific signals can be matched with specific meanings. This is a fundamental aspect of all communication systems. For example, in French, the word cell means a white crystalline substance consisting of sodium and chlorine atoms. The same substance is matched with the English word salt. Any one speaker of these languages will recognize that the signal cell or salt refers to the substance sodium chloride. A. Arbitrariness There is no direct connection between the signal and its meaning. For example, something as large as a wheel can be referred to be a very short word. Similarly, there is no reason that a four-legged domestic canine should be called a dog and not a chin or a pero or an engine, all words for dog in other languages. Onomatopoeic words such as meow or bark are often cited as counterexamples, based on the argument that they are pronounced like the sound they refer to. However, the similarity, if ever loose, a dog that actually said bark would be very surprising and does not always hold up across languages. For example, Spanish dogs say wow. So, even onomatopoeic words are, to some extent, arbitrary. Discreteness. Each unit of communication can be separated and unmistakable. Parts, such sounds or letters, can be categorized as belonging to distinct categories. There is no gradual, continuous shading from one sound to another in the linguistic system although they may be continuum in the real physical world. Thus, speakers will perceive a sound as either a P or a B, but not a, as blend, even if physical it falls somewhere between the two sounds. 10. Displacement It is the ability to talk about things that are not physically present, tenses or fiction, don't exist, and not present. This means that the speaker can talk about things which are not present, either spatially or temporally. For example, human language allows speakers to talk about the past and the future as well as the present. Speakers can also talk about things that are physically distant such as other countries, the moon, etc. They can even refer to the things and events that do not actually exist. They are not present in reality, such as the Easter Bunny, the Earth having an inferior, or the extraction of Tara in Gone with the Wind. 11. Productivity It is the ability to create new messages by combining already existing signs. This means that human languages allow speakers to create novel, never before heard utterances that others can understand. For example, the sentence, the little man who lived in my sax drawer told me that Evis will come back from Mars on that scent and will set all the politicians of India right, is a noble and never heard before sentence, at least I hope it is. But any fluent speaker of English would be able to understand it and realize that the speaker was not completely sane, at least for his noble wish. Traditional Transmission this means that human language is not something inborn. Although humans are probably born with an ability to do language, they must learn or acquire their native language from other speakers. This is different from many animal communication systems where the animal is born knowing their entire system.
Example, bees are born knowing how to dance and some birds are born knowing their species of bird songs. This is not true of all birds. Last, quality of patterning. It is the ability to recombine small units, sounds, and words, similar to productivity of new sentences. A finite of unit combined in infinite ways to create meaning. This means that the discrete parts of a language can be recombined in a systematic way to create new forms. This idea is similar to productivity feature 11. However, productivity refers to the ability to generate novel meanings, while duality of patterning refers to the ability to recombine small units in different orders. Charles Hackett developed the phrase duality of patterning to ex express the fact that discrete units of language at one level, such as the level of sounds, can be recombined to create different kinds of units at a different level, such as words. Holidays language function Instrumental It is used to express people's need or to get things done. Regulatory In this, language is used to tell others what to do. Interactional Language is used to make contact with others and form relationship. Personal the use of language is used to express feelings, opinion, and individual identity. Heuristic This is when language is used to gain knowledge about the environment. Imaginative Language is used to tell stories and jokes and to create an imaginary environment. And last, representational The use of language to convey facts and information. Thank you for watching. Start your day with a smile.